As Chinese President Xi Jinping is about to embark on his first ever state visit to Washington, our anchor Yang Rui sat down with Chinese State Councilor Yang Jiechi to talk about the overall China-U.S. relations and its future. This will be the very first official visit by President Xi Jinping after he took office. What will be the major issues topping his agenda? First of all, let me say that China-U.S. relationship has, on the whole, maintained a sound momentum of growth. And the two presidents have uh, stayed in frequent contact with each other, either through meetings or by correspondence. And there has been cooperation between the two sides on global issues like climate change and disease control. So against this backdrop, uh, the president will make his state visit to the United States later this month at the invitation of President Obama. And I believe that this is a very important visit because both countries are very important in the world, China being the largest developing country, the United States being the largest developed one. Both are permanent members of the UN Security Council. So there are a host of areas where China and the United States can and should cooperate with each other to promote peace, stability and development in various regions and in the world. How is this upcoming state visit by Mr. Xi Jinping different or special from the previous one in Sunderland, California last time? Well, this is an official a state visit. Mm -hmm. So a state visit, uh, by its very sense, is uh, very important and it's a comprehensive uh, covering of all the events uh, of China-U.S. relationship, I mean the major ones. So following up on their very substantive and productive discussions at Sunnylands, California and in Yintai, uh, Beijing, the two presidents will have in-depth discussion this time. First of all, I believe that they will further chart the course of China-U.S. relationship, particularly the new model of major country relationship between China and the United States. Do you think both sides, China and the U.S., have been able to reach a consensus about uh, uh, what kind of uh, major power relationship should be advanced in the correct direction? <laughs> well, at Sunderland, as you know, the two presidents agreed to build a new model of major country relationship between the two countries, i.e. China and the United States, and this goal has been reaffirmed by the two presidents uh, thereafter. And if we look back on what has been achieved, we can call it a real early harvest. On the bilateral side, uh, our trade has been on the way up in uh, the year 2014. The two-way trade was about 550 billion U.S. dollars, and the cumulative uh, investment both ways amounts to about 120 billion U.S. dollars, and uh, there are many, many visitors crisscrossing the Pacific, and the military ties between the two countries have been further built, and there is this new visa arrangement between the two countries, which actually facilitates visits by business people and students. So all this shows that a new model of major country relationship between our two countries will work in the best interests of China and the United States and for the rest of the world. What is important is really to adhere to the principles of avoiding conflict and confrontation and to respect each other's core interests and major concerns and pursue win-win solution. Well, that State, State Councillor Yang Jiechi is speaking to us, and the full version of the interview will be aired on Friday's dialogue at 7.30 p.m. Beijing time. Please tune in then.